In 2023, Toyota spent more than $100 million, well over $100 million in its marketing campaign that included about 40 different concept cars, most of which will never exist, in an effort to convince the world that it was taking electric cars seriously. But now experts are saying, after Toyota's comments within the last few days, that we're witnessing the early stages of the biggest fall of any company in the history of the world. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Toyota spent most of last year trying to convince the world it's serious about electric cars, outlining a bold plan for a cutting edge EV lineup, saying it was going to start using Tesla Model Y technology, meaning gigapresses to make EVs. It was going to change its ways. Now, Chairman Akio Toyota says that there is definitely a future for internal combustion engines. He even said that internal combustion engines will never die. In fact, he believes they're going to play a big role in the world's decarbonization. Net zero. He believes internal combustion engines can somehow be part of net zero. I don't really understand this, guys. I'm clearly not understanding his mathematics here. I don't believe there's ever been an internal combustion engine that's ever been built, which is truly net zero. Emissions come from the tailpipes of every single internal combustion engine ever made. So how is it exactly that internal combustion engines can be part of this net zero future? I, I just, I'm not understanding it. It's worth mentioning. Every year now, approximately 3.2 million people are said to die from pollution, primarily pollution from traffic, from trucks and cars and buses. So it is killing us. There is still a role for engines as a practical means of achieving carbon neutrality, said Toyota. So let us refine engine technology. Toyota said new takes on old technology will help win the war against carbon emissions while also saving jobs and preserving the smell, sound and feel that died in the wall car fans truly love. Now, yeah, this is something you do love until you realize it's causing cancer. And it does. When you find this out the hard way, well, your mind changes. But until it affects you personally, you often have that kind of feeling like, yeah, yeah, the smell of petrol, the burning fuel, the burning, burning of diesel, isn't it great? But actually, it's like smoking hundreds and hundreds of cigarettes. It's actually terrible for you. Battery electric vehicles do not represent the only way to achieve carbon neutrality, said Toyota. Should we not all have enthusiasm for cars as we take on the challenge? Toyota said that it is starting a new project to promote engine development anew and that the initiative was given the green light from CEO Koji Sato and other executives. You may think engines in this day and age. It might sound like we are running against the times, but that is not true, said Toyota's CEO. This is a necessary step toward the future. Not really sure why developing internal combustion engines is a necessary step towards the future. Toyota didn't explain in any way why it's necessary, how it's necessary. They did provide a document though in May of last year, which was thoroughly debunked by hundreds of different experts claiming that there wasn't enough lithium for us to have EVs, for even 50% of all cars being sold to be powered by batteries. Now, obviously they ignored the reality here, which is that um, actually there is plenty of lithium. And even then, even then, we are actually manufacturing sodium ion battery factories all around the world at this point in time. In fact, EVs from Volkswagen are now being sold in China with sodium ion batteries. Stellantis is building a sodium ion battery factory in Europe. So whether it's lithium or sodium or something else, there's many different types of batteries. EVs actually work with any kind of battery. Toyota declined to detail their new internal combustion engine project, but I personally believe what has happened is this. Mazda say it will be getting technology from Toyota, its software. Mazda's gonna be using Toyota software in its future cars. So 
I believe that Mazda, who have been working on their new generation internal combustion engines, and in fact have no intentions for EVs at all, other than to rebadge other manufacturers' electric cars, may be working in collaboration with Toyota on their internal combustion engine plants. Mazda is actually a very, very small car company. Very hard to exist when you're a small car company. And if only if, if Mazda loses only 50% of its sales, which it's on track to do so within the next 12 months, it very likely will need a huge bailout from the Japanese government, meaning either that happens or the company goes bankrupt or it's purchased by possibly another car company. Most likely what would happen to Mazda is it will be purchased by a Chinese conglomerate, whether that be Geely, BYD, Say, I'm not sure which, but that is the most likely scenario for Mazda. But before that happens, Mazda is investing almost everything it has, literally, into development of the internal combustion engine. They have made it their goal to perfect the internal combustion engine. And I believe that there's a, a tie here with Toyota. They're planning to work together on this technology. Now, in 2021, a New York Times report revealed how a Toyota executive, and in fact, several Toyota executives, have lobbied against aggressive electrification strategies in the US in an actual interview with US congressional staff as part of larger worldwide efforts to restrict and lobby against stricter regulations on emissions, both in the United States, the European Union, the United Kingdom, Japan, India, and Australia. Toyota's slow paced approach to electrification was also defended by the White House last year. So Toyota is saying through advanced combustion engine development that they hope to help fight carbon emissions while helping to preserve jobs for those in the Japanese car industry. And that's what this really comes down to. It's the Japanese automotive industry at stake here. The president of Toyota is currently the president of the Japanese automotive industry. And rather than admit to the fact that he has led them down the wrong pathway towards financial destruction, He's basically sticking to his guns. He is saying this is about the 5.5 million people in Japan's important automotive sector that rely on part production for internal combustion engine vehicles. So there you have it. 5.5 million Japanese people rely on jobs surrounding internal combustion engine technology. That is the heart of this matter. The Japanese automotive industry is going to shrink. How much will it shrink? Well, I think it's pretty clear. Of those 5.5 million jobs, none of them will exist by 2035. It's extremely unlikely that they will do so. The current pace of electrification is staggering, but it's not only the pace of electrification, it's the pace of development of batteries, the pace of development of motors, it's the pace of all the development around every part of an electric car. There has never been a time in history where car development has happened so quickly and there has never been a time in history where cars have improved so much year over year over year. By 2035, electric cars will be so much better than an internal combustion engine in every single way imaginable that internal combustion engines will just cease to exist. It's a little bit like walking into a phone store and buying a, an old Blackberry, an old Nokia 3310. Do you really want to buy one of those for the same price or more than an electric car, which will have double the range of most internal combustion engine, which will have double the range of EVs today and charge twice as quickly, if not faster. He said about this workforce of 5.5 million people in Japan who are most likely going to lose their jobs. These people support Japan and have the skills to make the Japan of tomorrow strong. Now, I've got to point out their skills are in internal combustion. We must never lose these people, said Toyota. To all those who have made engines up until now, let us continue to make engines. I will never let all the work you have done so far go to waste. Well, unfortunately, it's not up to him to decide. The decision has been made by consumers. It's been made by the world. Really, honestly, the hubris, in my opinion, is staggering. What are your thoughts? Thanks for watching.